everybody, Edo here, and I am about to review a game from Blue Orange. Uh, but before I do, I just want to let everyone know that recently, Blue Orange asked me to do an overview of three games for like a for virtual booth and then cons for them. I've known them for a long time. They're local to the Bay Area. And uh, for it, they didn't want it in my, my normal zone. They wanted to have a Blue Orange banner behind me and have tons of Blue Orange games. And there'll be a picture of it. And so they sent me all these games, none of which I had played, or almost none of which I had played. And I was like, can I review this, these? And they were like, sure, which is great. Uh, so the review you're about to see was not paid for, though I was paid for something else from Blue Orange and it included a mountain of games, which I'm now reviewing. So let me jump in. This is Planet. Now, a little while ago, I did a video which was like 10 things you can do for home during, uh, uh, you know, stuck at home, stay at home orders to be a better designer. And one of the things I mentioned in that video was uh, come up with a component that's totally different than anything else in any, any game and build a game around it. Or, come, you know, think about what kind of game you could be. Uh, and Planet here is just like a perfect example of that. Uh, it's sort of like got a photosynthesis vibe, though this is a way lighter game. Um, and But basically the idea here is that uh, you have this planet and every turn you're gonna get a tile, and we'll go through that in a second, and these are magnetic. And you are building out your territory on your planet, trying to get species to inhabit it, in, inhabit, inhabit it? Um, as you go, uh, until at the end, everyone has a, after 12, there's 12 sides, after 12 rounds, everyone has a cleared earth and we're gonna, or, or planet, and we're going to score. So uh, this is how this mechanic, the component works. The game's really very simple, uh, essentially sort of set collection area majority game. Uh, I don't have it set up exactly here, but you're gonna have um, 10 rows of face down tiles, five in each, and then uh, based on the number of players, any excess tiles go to the end for a total of 12 rounds. Usually there's some more cards set up here, I don't have enough room, and then the rest go in the box. So uh, some tiles actually get recycled downwards. And uh, on, on, on the turn, you have a first player, and basically all of the tiles get revealed in front of everybody. I, I, that might be a little off camera, but in front of everybody. And then each player take a turn essentially drafting a tile. Uh, and you bring it to your planet. Now, how do I configure my planet? Well, there's a couple things here. One, at the beginning of the game, everyone has gets dealt a personal objective card, which is just a, a type of terrain. And you are going to get value for having this terrain. The um, It's based on triangles. So within each one of these, there's a little you know, triangle here, and um, that counts as one. So if I'm the water guy, I'm looking for a ton of water, uh, so I want tiles with lots of waters on them. And you get a, a pretty uh, good amount of points for doing that. Along the way, you're collecting or convincing species of animals to come to your planet, uh, and this is a, a race against the other players. And essentially, you get one point for every animal you get that is of your type. So this one was water. If I got turtles, I'd get a point at the end of the game and you get two points for uh, each animal that's of a different um, biome uh, because they're harder to do and you get two for that. And that's the scoring at the end of the game. So every round we're getting a piece of the planet. Uh, it starts out in the first couple rounds that you, there's no creatures at stake, but then creatures come at stake. And the way it works is there's this idea of region. So a triangle is a triangle, it's not a region, but anything that's more than one triangle counts as a region. Uh, so I had that triangle, but now I have a region. And so the way the deer works is this goes to the player with the largest forest uh, region next to, adjacent to, a water region. Um, and so, uh, you know, essentially you're going to um, finish the round, everyone has their tiles, and then you compare and you're like, oh, I have a, I, I have a, a, a water, uh, you know, forest, or I don't have a forest. Like, you know, you're basically like comparing your your planets to find out who has the most. Uh, there's a really cool, the coolest mechanic, cooler than this, I think, is that basically as you're working on these objective cards, some of them sometimes nobody has. Uh, nobody has because every, some people might have forest but not near water or whatever. And um, if no one gets it, it moves to the next day or next turn. And so you have this sort of cascading objectives as players are working towards them. And it's just a really nice way to ha have challenges that maybe are hard in the beginning, but then players can get. So uh, this is biggest region next to uh, a, a place. 
here it's a little hard to see but there's a red x this is biggest region not next to a different type and then the last one is where it says uh, most regions uh which is the uh five of them that's it that's the game uh why does it work it works because this is novel uh the magnets are cool building out your terrain and moving around feels fun and then the simple mechanic of drafting the pieces and thinking about the different animals you're going for and the advantage of getting animals that don't meet your biome uh, works. I think it's a fun, thinky game. It's maybe a little light for all that comes together, um, but it's definitely novel and it's quick and easy to teach. Uh, so I think it's a nice sort of first game gateway filler type of game that you're going to start uh, diving into. It says it plays in 30 minutes. I think that's pretty much uh, dead on. Um, so anyway, this is Planet. Hey everybody, Edo here, and thanks for watching Gaming with Edo. Reviews over here on this playlist, League and Insider videos over here on this one. Subscribe, share, all that good stuff. But most importantly, play some great games. Thanks.